Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. I'm going to talk about mental mindset today. Here we are again. Now I want to talk about the burdens and the thoughts that are in your head. And I'm going to give you a couple examples. And I want you to think about this because what you think is going to happen in your mind is probably what's going to happen, all right? Now how many salespeople before they go into a cell, they prejudge the customer, they prejudge the situation, they take what happened in maybe a previous cell, carry it into that cell, and then it kills them, right? So I want to tell you about my first day in sales. And I'm going to go back to this and give you a couple scenarios. I want you to think about this, right? Most salespeople, they carry burdens in their head, negative thoughts, things that have happened in the past, thoughts that have other people have told them, thoughts that they thought. And they carry that in the process and 99% of them are fake, they're made up and they're unreal. So I want you to understand something. And I want you to write this down. My reality will be based off my perception. My perception is my reality. So if you have a good perception, if you have a good perspective, your reality is going to be straight fire. Okay. Write this down, make your own economy, create your own economy, create your own reality. You know, whatever you think is going to happen is what's going to happen. So as a brand new salesperson, my manager told me, he goes, hey, Andy, I just want to share this with you. And he kind of lied to me, right? But he goes, I just want to share something with you. He goes, if people pull up to the dealership, because I started selling cars when I was 18, he goes, if people pull up to the dealership, they're here to buy. They don't come in here to waste their time. They've made the decision to purchase. So when they're here, they are going to buy something, all right? He goes, nine out of 10 people that come to the dealership end up buying a car. So understand this, when you walk out that door, those people are going to buy something swear on my life the first 10 people i talked to as a brand new salesperson with no experience not a good speaker dude i wasn't even dressed great i needed an iron i didn't look like all the other guys i sold 10 for 10. i sold every single person that pulled up and the other guys were getting so pissed at me they thought i was getting lucky i wasn't getting lucky what happened is I had this delusional belief, write that down. I had this delusional belief that every customer I came in to talk to came to buy and they were going to buy and they, and they were ready to buy as long as I did my job, right? So I went outside, I went to shake their hand and I literally already pre like sold myself that they were going to buy something. So the biggest sell you ever make in your life is selling yourself that you're going to sell the next person you're going to talk to. Okay. And then when you go talk to them, we already sold that they're going to buy. They can see it in your face that they feel like you guys are going to do business together and you end up doing business together. That's how it works. But guess what? The other salespeople were closing around 20% closing ratio. That means they were closing two out of 10 and I closed 10 for 10 on my first 10. Now I want to tell you what happened next. All right. A guy pulled me to the side. He goes, Hey man, I want to tell you this, the closing ratio it, at max best, if you're good at your job is 30% in the store. 40% if you're the best in the world. He goes, dude, you've closed 10 for 10. He goes, you've got extremely lucky. Okay. Now, listen, here, here, this is my problem. I'm going to explain to you where I went wrong here. I believed him. I stopped listening to my manager, right? My manager was lying to me and I had great results. He wanted me to have the mindset to believe that my perception was my reality. And I believed this guy now. And I went down to 20% closing ratio and I started closing two out of every 10 customers and then three. And guess what? That 10 out of 10 went away. Now what changed this? this changed. So this video is going to be about the heaviest burdens, the heaviest negative thoughts are the thoughts that happen in our head. Stop getting distracted. Are you ready to turn your annual income into your monthly income? If you want to make more money in 2025 than ever before, you want to recreate your life, you want to put a financial fence around your family, you're ready to change. You got to be like my boy Tommy here. He's training on the Elliott Training Academy. Listen, it takes a couple things. Number one, life coaching leadership training the quality of your life will always come down to the level of your leadership so the life that you have now is because the leader that you are it's time to change if you're ready to change your life download now so i'm going to give you another scenario i want to give you another story okay real quick and i want you to think about that one all right and think about hey that last story is that you could that be your problem by the way listen to me i have a delusional belief that everybody i talk to now is going to buy something and guess what they end up buying that's just the way it works. I don't think any differently. I learned my lesson. I've tried this. I've tried that. I've learned what's good and I ain't going to do with bad, right? And that's your time right now to learn from my lesson. So you don't have to go through the same mistakes or keep putting up with the same mistakes. We've identified a problem, but I'm going to give you another example. Okay. So about two years later, I'm sitting out there on the lot, same deal. 
and we had this brand new sales guy that started, okay? Now, obviously I started selling cars in 1999. I know I'm a dinosaur, it was a long time ago. You remember the vehicles like a PT Cruiser, like a Dodge Neon back in the day? Well, these are the cars that were over here on the side that nobody wanted to buy. And guess what happened? We didn't make grosses on them. We didn't make good profits on them. These were all the cars we made profits. So the manager stacked them up over here and they told us they'd give us special spiffs, money, extra bonuses to sell those because they wanted to get rid of them because they didn't make any money. Well, this new guy came on the lot. It was his first day and he goes, man, dude, so we just go out here and sell anything. I said, hey man, I want to tell you something. Watch this, watch how this works. I said, I'm going to tell you something, right? And watch how I learned a lesson and you can learn your lesson here too. I said, you see these PT cruisers, see these Dodge Neons over there? Those make all the money, man. You wanna kill it? You wanna crush it? Everybody comes in, or a guy comes in and asks for a pickup truck. You're gonna go sell him one of them Dodge Neons. You're gonna say, oh, pickup truck? Cool, on the way over there, let me show you one of these Dodge Neons, man. These things are bad to the bone. This one's even got a spoiler, right? And get excited. Guess what happened? Swear on my life. This guy sold five PT Cruisers and Dodge Neons in five days. He ran the biggest grosses in the company. The biggest grosses in the company all month on those cars we couldn't sell. You know why? Right here. See, I was outside with the guys and they were like, hey, those cars don't make money and I believed it. And what happened is we got used to making money on these cars and we forgot about those. So our mindset was like, those cars don't make money. You see, people believe that the money isn't there when someone else is making the money there. So your question right now needs to be, what am I doing that isn't allowing me to, to, to max out my earning potential? What am I not doing? What is my head, right, carrying that's junk that I need to release and get rid of? What is up here that's not allowing you to max out your earning potential? What is it? I want you to understand something, okay? There is a person that carries this mentality that I'm telling you about right now, and I carry it now, okay? But I've made mistakes before, and when I didn't carry it, I always paid for it. And part of training is teaching you so you don't have to make the same mistakes that we made so now that you can fix that. And whatever it is you sell, you can say, hey, you know what? I have a low self-limiting belief in this area, and I'm going to fix that. And guess what? I want you to fix those right now. And I want you to understand every area you can make money in as long as you believe you can. And if you think you can, you're going to go get it. Whatever you think you can do, you can do. And by the way, that's not some quote and saying. That's real. But you can't just say it. You have to freaking believe it with every ounce of your bones and being. Now, I want to talk about burdens. This is a key word here. A lot of people have heavy burdens, okay? All they do is in their head, their head, it's, it's heavy. And they just basically drag it around. It's got so much weight on it because there's so much negativity in it. And that weight, that weight that people carry around in their head with these negative thoughts, it kills them, all right? So one of the things that we need to do right now is we need to realize if you have a bad phone call, it don't carry into the next phone call. If you knock on a door and it's a bad door, you don't carry that into the next call. You don't carry that into the next knock. You don't carry that. That is gone and that is over and you put it to bed. You shake it, dust your feet off and move on. I want you to think about something right now, okay? Listen to me. How important is your attitude? How important is the way you believe in yourself? How important is what you think is going to go on in here and what's going to happen to you? It's everything. And if you kill that, okay, you are going to get crushed. And you may be extremely talented. You may be very good at what you do. But if you carry around dead weight in your head, you're going to be like dragging your head on the freaking pavement because it's so heavy, filled up with junk, and it just becomes a burden. So I want you to do me a favor. Write this down. Declutter my mind. Okay, declutter it. All right? Your head can only have so much space, it can only take up so much information, and I need you to declutter anything that isn't good for you, anything that isn't to take you in the direction you wanna go, anything that doesn't allow you to get to that next level. I want you to take it, get rid of it, move it away, trash it, and this right here will be the video that if you're smart, anytime you start to build up these uh, false problems, okay, maybe carrying negativity from another cell, guess what? you can get rid of. And guess what? A lot of people will place their burdens 
the fake stuff they made up and they'll push it over in your head and you'll carry it, okay? So be real careful who you're around and you've heard me talk a lot about circles, but make sure that you're not carrying somebody else's burden, okay? And if you follow these simple rules, this head, keep it clear, keep it ready for only good information and you'll slaughter it. If you're ready to change your life, download now.